Um, so my name is Wendy Watch and I am the CEO of Jenga School. Jenga School is a professional development skills institution bridging a vital gap in the tech ecosystem. And we are on a mission to unleash Africa's genius to solve global problems. And we always say that genius is evenly distributed, but opportunities is not. So that's why we exist. I'm the fifth child in a family of six. I was born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. My mom was a um, deputy head teacher at one of the local primary schools. She's actually recently uh, retired. My dad was the CEO at one of the leading parastatals in Kenya. Um, growing up, for me, I was always that shy girl. Um, you always find me at the back. If it's a party at the back, probably just reading a storybook or listening to music or trying to solve a math problem because I really, really loved math. And my siblings' friends will always ask them, ask them, um, what's wrong with your sister? Why is, she, why is she not like the rest of us, you know? And I think for me, that's just how different I was and it's okay to be different. I then went to Gilgil Hills Academy. That's where I did my primary education. And I feel for me, Gilgil was, I consider it my awakening moment. Because as I've mentioned, I was a, such a shy girl, a shy kid. Um, and uh, when I joined Gilgil, and I remember this instant very vividly, when I joined Gilgil, it was after an year, I was in grade eight, and it was during the assembly, and this um, principal comes in, our principal comes in, may his um, soul rest in peace. He comes and he says, um, our head girl for this year is Miss Wendy. Remember, I'm such a shy girl. I don't talk, I'm not confident, I'm not aggressive like the rest of the students, but I was smart. So I was like, yes, they know me, I'm smart, but how are they seeing that I have all these leadership qualities? You know what I mean? So I remember my friend hitting me and saying, hey, Wendy, it's you. I'm like, what, are you sure? Then the principal repeated, Wendy, you'll watch, where are you? I remember walking in front and, and greeting the whole, um, greeting the students and saying, um, good morning. Um, I guess I am now the new head girl and I'm really excited to be here. And as I've mentioned, this was my awakening moment and me getting out of my shell because after that, that's when I started being very aggressive and very confident in what I did. I then joined Moy High School Kabarak and that's where my passion for women grew, for my passion for girls. Because I remember I was in the first grade and if you know Moy High School Kabarak, it's a mixed school. And if you've been privileged enough to, to learn in one of our local um, high schools, you know that there's something called the math contest, right? And I remember that day our principal called one of the girls in front and he mentioned that she was literally the best student, female, not just female student, but the best student in the whole country in math. And I remember sitting there and saying, oh my God, that's a girl, that's a female. Like all through my journey, I didn't see many of them just leading, especially when it came to STEM courses or STEM programs. And that's when I, I realized if she can do it, I can do it. After my high school Kabarak, I joined uh, United States International University, where I pursued international business administration. Um, I majored in finance and minored in marketing. I then um, completed that and then came back five years later to do my master's in strategic management. Uh, growing up, just like any other, I wasn't those students who knew exactly what they wanted to be. You know what I mean? Like a doctor, a lawyer. I remember in class, people would be like, I want to be the next, um, I want to be the first female pilot. I want to be, I was like, I just want to finish high school. <laughs> and uh, so when, when I finished and during that um, process of being advised which program to do, I was told business would be good. Um, especially if I focused on accounting or finance and that's why I joined um, USIU Africa and I did finance so it wasn't something that I was really passionate about and also it's it's because I think I was not aware of all the opportunities out there in terms of courses and the programs that female can females can actually do young girls can actually do which I wish I was actually advised earlier so after graduation I was privileged enough to to get a, a job immediately. So I worked as an intern at NIC, which is currently known as NCBA Bank. Afterwards, I left and I was a management trainee at 
INDM Bank, which I was there for around six months. And then I just realized the banking industry wasn't for me. I felt I needed more. As I've mentioned, I'm very passionate about impact. And I felt I wasn't really utilizing my potential. Um, so that's when um, an opportunity came up to join um, Centurion Limited, which is a financial institution that focuses on empowering people with their finances. And that's when I realized I'm really passionate again, working with young people and just not females, but young people. And um, I worked there for the last five years. Yes. After which I transitioned to tech and I joined Jenga School. So I joined Jenga School as the head of marketing and I did that for the last six months. And then after that, I was promoted to being the CEO. I always consider myself to be an impact chaser. Where I'd, before I'd, I join an organization or before I, I participate in an initiative, I always ask myself, am I able to impact someone's life? Right? And right now I'm very passionate about tech and just not tech but women in tech i'm very passionate about empowering them especially the young girls to just let them know that there are opportunities out there like i mentioned earlier i didn't know that i could actually do there's an opportunity in tech right the only opportunities that i was given was business like you're good in math do finance or do accounting or focus in business i always say see you is just the title but the role is much more what you're able to do with the role is much more. And just being in a position to be able to impact more women and more people to show them that it's actually possible at a young age. And this is where I definitely have to give credit to Impact Africa Network. So Jenga School is one of the portfolio companies under Impact Africa Network, whereby they insist on giving women more, um, more opportunities, especially in terms of leadership roles. And uh, for me, it's definitely accelerating, but being able to do this in less than six months, being able to be given this position in six months, it just didn't come like that. I literally had to work and I worked hard for it. And just now being in this position and being able to bring my skills, my marketing skills, my strategy skills, my leadership skills, I'd say, being a female CEO is not easy, especially in the tech ecosystem. There are very few of us, if actually countable. Um, so sometimes you, there's, lack, there's that lack of mentorship or that lack of someone you can look up to. So it's literally you trying to find your own roadmap. Um, but the beauty about it right now is we are becoming more vocal. As much as we are not many, we are now more vocal. And that's what we need. Young girls need to see that they're actually women in these positions. And I remember the other day I was doing a talk at, um, at JQuart. And I remember after finishing the talk, a young girl came up to me and she was like, Hi, Miss Wendy. Thank you so much for doing that talk. You've literally inspired me because you've shown me that women can actually take leadership roles, especially when it, came, when it comes to tech. And that for me was impact. That's for me is why I do what I do, you know. So, yeah, I was very excited about that. Being a leader with an untech background can be challenging, especially when you're running a fast-growing tech institution. And I get this question a lot. Um, how are you managing it? I always tell people, we're all techies, we just don't know it yet. You just need to be curious. You need to surround yourself with the right people, um, the right team. Do your research. Um, and constantly learn constantly learn that's what, exactly what I do and I've been very privileged enough to have such an amazing team of brilliant minds who are constantly supporting me and working with me through this journey and I think that's what makes it a little bit more easy the first thing I'll tell them is you can't be a leader if you're not able to lead yourself you need to first start with you and you should always ask yourself if you are a follower would you want to be led with someone like you and um, there's this quote by Deborah Lee, she's the former CEO of BET. She always says, um, when it comes to leadership, listen to research, listen to advice. But when it's all said and done, listen to your voice because you're the one who will be responsible for the decision you make. Constantly in rooms with young girls and in meetings, 
and they have brilliant ideas and they are really excited but they never stand out you know what i mean they never um showcase what they have because they're shy and it all comes back to a culture you're a woman what are you supposed to do stay in the kitchen keep quiet you know don't raise your voice be timid and um one of the initiatives i'm very passionate about um i i mentor young girls and i focus on personal branding how they can stand out especially when it comes to their careers how they can position themselves um because i used to be them you know what i mean i used to be that shy girl who never who's who who never knew what her potential was uh, who was very fearful and um the other day i was watching this master class by by lewis hamilton and he was saying you need to feel your fear for you to be able to unlock your potential and that's what i want them to do it's okay to be fearful but feel the fear and do it anyway so that's what i'm currently doing and it's one of the initiatives is one of the initiative that is is mentoring these young girls to stand out in their careers i always say success is an ongoing process it's not a scene it's a movie and it all starts with the little things that you do um it's again it's just not one thing um and for me success is impact and it can be impact in the most little way like i mentioned that young girl from jquat that's success to me um a girl realizing her potential that's success to me um and the problem that we currently have especially as young people is thinking that success is instant it's a process it takes time it takes hard work and you have to constantly learn for you to be able to be successful um mentors are very mentors are very important because they act as your guiding light and i've been very privileged enough to have amazing people work with me through the journey since i started till now and um one of the people that I would definitely want to shout out um will definitely be our CEO and co-founder of Impact Africa Network that is Mark Karake just believing in the thesis whereby women can actually lead and giving us opportunities to do so um I'd also like to 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 thank one of my very good mentors and now I consider a friend um his name is Tom Kaiser who is the CEO of Hootsuit um for just walking with me through this journey telling me the do's and don'ts guiding me um and the last but not least is Caroline Toko who has been commendable um uh, me- has been a commendable mentor for me especially from where we're from my centonomy days and my banking days till now uh still working with me through this journey so those have been my three mentors my family actually they are my greatest supporters as uh, just starting from my dad because my dad has been here before and i remember when i got um this appointment he he asked me one question who was like how are you as you at your age <laughs> because for him being a CEO you have to be between the age of 50 to 60 you know what i mean and he was very very proud of me and he he really he's literally been working with me through this journey empowering me um making making sure that i'm very grounded because you know sometimes with leadership and power it can always get to your head so my family definitely makes me grounded my mom makes sure every time i go home i'm still doing the chores you know what i mean um there's nothing like a ceo in the house wendy so and of course my siblings the support they've given me has been amazing one of the things that i've learned throughout my career would be especially being a young female leader is personal branding i know we don't discuss this and i sometimes i even feel it should be it should be a course in the university you know what i mean especially for the women um letting them know that they need to be seen and heard i wish i knew that earlier i'd probably be and <laughs> i'm just fine <laughs> uh but i wish uh, more women could could have that opportunity to know that um humility is also key um 
leadership can definitely get into your head but if you you stay grounded and you're very humble and also just focus on your why what why are you doing what you're doing and um, something very interesting that one of my mentors told me the other day that's Mark Karake he mentioned that greatness is not a career it's finding it's finding a cause that's bigger than you that makes you want to wake up in the morning and to me that was just a summary of everything and what I needed to hear so one of my biggest career highlights is definitely being the CEO of Jenga school um, an opportunity that I don't take for granted an opportunity for me to empower more an opportunity for me to 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 show others that it's definitely possible, especially the young women. Um, and I still remember to this day, it was more than three months ago, the excitement the women in our organization had, just knowing that it's possible for them also to have such a platform and knowing that it's definitely possible. Uh, that, that was one of my greatest career highlights. Um, the other highlight would be being able to empower more than, just being able to empower more than 10,000 um, youth in terms of their financial literacy and just seeing them, their lives being changed and doing amazing things with their businesses and their communities. That was definitely a highlight for me. So Jenga School is a professional development um, skills institution, bridging a vital gap in the tech ecosystem. It's an online uh, school and uh, we offer programs in data science, machine learning and uh, software engineering. We, we, have, we just don't focus on technical skills, but we focus on practical technical skills. We also focus on other skills that set you apart as a tech enthusiast as a techie so here we're talking about business acumen we're talking about communication skills because we believe the engineers of the future are able to communicate and communicate well we off we help in terms of your problem solving skills um, systematic thinking so just to sum up um, the, the, the kind of skills that we offer and uh, the structure is very, very vigorous and uh, we understand that it is and that's why we have teaching assistants to work with you through the process. We, all our instructors hold a PhD. Um, we, are, we have industry lectures. We're able to connect you to, to the real world, business world, what's currently happening. So we usually have people from NASA, we have people from Twitter coming in, we have people from Netflix coming to just help our students understand, um, <coughs> help our students understand what they give them practical lessons basically for fine i really love traveling um i've been very privileged enough to to travel most parts of europe um i also love baking but if you find me baking a chocolate cake no, i'm very annoyed very very annoyed with someone <laughs> um and i also just love spending time with my nieces and nephew i'll say especially for those who want to 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 have a career in tech those who are wondering whether to start or not i'll say tech is the only portable career and um, it's a good place to make your ideas happen and there's never been a better time to be especially a girl in tech and you were born at the right place at the right time should you wish to interact with us you can find us at uh, twitter Facebook, LinkedIn, and our handle is at Jenga School. I would definitely love to interact with all of you, so you can definitely get me on, um, my handles are Wendy Watch, that is on Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn.